so in this video let us try to you know have a drop down for the department and date picker for our date of joining okay so let's start implementing that so let's go back to the employee service dot ts and add a method so that we get all the drop down all the values for our department okay so we'll say get department drop down values and we're gonna say observable any So I'll return this dot HTTP dot get will say department array of departments this dot API URL plus slash department. okay so now let's go back to the add employee component dot html or let's go back to add component dot ts sorry uh, add component add employee component dot ts And let's try to get the drop down uh, list for this okay so let's implement the method drop down refresh okay so let's have a list item which is supposed to be an array of strings public list items which is of the uh, array of uh, type strings okay equal to empty so in drop down list we'll say this dot service dot get drop down values dot subscribe data until we get the data and once we get the data what we want to do is data dot for each element we're gonna this dot push this dot list items dot push element of department name okay and then what we have to do is we have to go to the app component dot html and make some changes so instead of department input we should have a select right we'll have select and remove these things type will be text uh, we will say required ok type is text name is department ng model service dot department this is everything is fine only thing this we have to have the options here so option let's have option star ng for so we're going to iterate through the list of items that we get from the drop down uh, method let dl 
of list items and let's have value equal to dl okay so we're gonna options we'll have dl so in options let's have dl so let's see if that's that thing works so we'll click on employee add employee and we have some issue so I think maybe we have to um, okay So we have to call this dot drop down refresh. So now let's see if that thing works. Okay, we are having some problem so we have to I think we have to import the modules uh, the select module for this so let's import that first but I'm not sure that's the actual issue but anyhow so import for select we don't need anything because we are using native uh, I mean the HTML select so I guess the problem is something else add employee.ts okay we will do one thing we will do console dot log the data okay so let's see if the data is coming so indeed the data is actually coming so the problem okay let's copy this and uh, go back to here and say list items I don't think we need type equal to text here select 
required class name stack department ng model okay for each of undefined okay sorry i guess it is not data array just data dot for each yeah i think that was the problem so now we have the drop down now let's implement the date picker so to implement the date picker we need to import some of the modules so let's import the modules for date picker so we'll import mat date picker module from at the rate angular slash material material slash date picker and also import mat native mat native date module from at the rate angular slash material okay and also let's not forget to import in the import section as well So now let's get back to the end, add employee component.html and replace the input with a text box. So, uh, sorry, a date picker. So date of joining instead of input type text, it should be date picker. So we'll remove this. So we'll say mat date picker equal to will give some name picker okay class form control I think we need type equal to text as well and uh, date of joining the mod model form data date of joining I think everything is fine so we have mat date picker toggle mat suffix for so we have to give the name the picker okay and then mat date picker hashtag picker so I think that should be it so let's click on add employee now mat date picker is not a known element okay mat date picker mat date picker Okay, so it is just mat date picker. Fine. So let's see if that works. So we have the drop down and also the date picker. So everything's working fine. 
ओके